my gosh, I have so many things to tell you about. I'm going to jump right in. This is May favorites. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right. I have a lot of stuff to tell you about. So I, like I said, I'm going to jump right in. I know this is going to be long, but I figure it's a holiday weekend. Maybe you got a little extra time for me, for little old me and my favorites. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk to you about is something that I have gotten a lot of questions about. Uh, Maybelline's... Revlon's new Lash Potion Mascara. This is the cutest little tube and I'll show you the wand. This is not the mascara for me. I am right down the middle with this one and it's so weird because usually I can tell you I like it or I hate it. This is the wand. Really decent. Um, the problem with this for me is it doesn't give me the volume that I love. I like fake looking volume lashes and this does volume and length. And what I'm getting mostly from this after, you know, putting on a few layers is length, not so much volume. So this is not the mascara for me, but it's going to be a good fit for a lot of people. Um, I think it's very, very hard for a mascara to do volume and length. It's just a very, very tall order. And um, I feel like like they gave it a great effort. This is going to be a fantastic mascara to a lot of people. I've heard a lot of you say you love it. It's just not the mascara for me. Um, I will definitely continue to use it though. It is a good mascara, but I will not repurchase. Um, something I'm really glad that I tried though, because I think it is a really nice mascara that is going to be a good fit for a lot of people. People that aren't so addicted to crazy volume, thick lashes like I am. It's going to be perfect for you. I'm right on the, usually I love it or I hate it, but I'm right on down the middle at this one, which is kind of interesting because I'm never usually like that. All right, next. Uh, oh, this is the time of year when I go primer crazy. This is the new one from Becca. It is their Ever Matte Poreless uh, Priming Perfector. They were nice enough to send this to me. I saw this on Wendy Williams earlier this week. I love her show. I tape it. Um, this is 1.35 ounces, and I had to tell you about this. It's $36, so it's pretty pricey. But the thing that makes this different is, is a lot of you are, um, whenever I talk about primers, are like, has it? does it have silicone in it? This is silicone free. So right out there, add the box. This is going to be good for a lot of people. Um, let me just show you what it looks like. It's a white cream, but what the other thing that I like about it is, besides being silicone free, if that's a concern for you, there's there's something that makes this very different. And I'm gonna, it's a, just a white cream, and I'll put it on my hand, and you'll see it dries clear. And why that is so important is, is look, you can't even see where it was. Um, why that is so important is the thing that makes this very, very different and interesting to me is, is yeah, you can wear it alone, which, you know, because it dries clear like I showed you. You can wear this alone. You can wear this and then put your makeup over top of it. Today I'm wearing liquid foundation, so I put it right over top of it. I've worn this under my powder foundation, Bare Minerals, and it was fine. The thing you can do with this is different. Let me just get to that because I keep saying that. Uh, you can put it over your makeup later in the day if you get oily. I think that's pretty damn interesting because there are not a lot of primers, uh, I don't think I have any, that you could put right over your makeup and it won't mess your makeup up. So I've done that and I've been pretty damn, I, the thing now is I don't know where to put this. I usually have all my primers here where I put my makeup on, uh, but this kind of needs to be in my purse. So, because you just tap it on, I tap it on my nose, my upper lip, and like right in here where I get oily, and it doesn't disturb my makeup at all. It kind of works better than a powder. And so I got to figure out where I'm going to keep this sucker now. Um, so yeah, really, really cool. It's $36, so it's very, very pricey. The thing about Becca that is kind of hard um, to get around is there are very few places you can test this out. Like this is one of those things you'd want to get a sample, I would think. At $36, I would want a sample. Yeah, I love it, but you know, that's the thing. Um, you're going to have to go to their website and order it, I get. It's like Becca USA, they have a website. So yeah, I am really liking it, and I think it's great for people that are concerned about silicone. Um, it's great. I have a brand. I have decided that what my brand is. All month I've been trying out different false lashes and uh, I know what my brand is now because this is the brand I can wear the lashes on average eight times eight times I get the very thin band. <laughs> eight times I'm wearing them today. They feel like I have nothing on. I can wear them. I've been wearing lashes all month long. Not worried. Don't feel them. They aren't feeling uncomfortable, they're Ardell's. So that's just my brand. These are 116s that I have, and I can just wear them over and over, peel the duo glue, I love duo glue, peel the duo glue off the band and pop them in the next day and they look like they're brand new. Ardell is my brand. And you can get them anywhere, Kmart, 
uh, Target, the drugstore, um, Ulta, they're everywhere. I love Ardell lashes and if you want the kind that are easy to wear that don't feel heavy get the ones with the very very thin band I like a thin band I don't like those thick black bands because then you feel like you're wearing lashes all day and I hate that feeling I really don't like it okay the palette I've been using all freaking month that I'm in love with um, I got this a while ago and I pulled it out because I've been like Tell me if you'd like to see. I, I think I've been doing like shopping my stash kind of things where I will pull out things that I haven't been showing a lot of love to and um, start using them again. You like fall all over in love with things, okay? This is one of those things. It's Mally's in the Buff palette and it's gorgeous. Um, this big color right here is not an actual eyeshadow color. It's a base. I don't use it that much. I'm not really a fan of it, but I love these colors. These colors are fantastic. The thing that also makes this palette fantastic though is the brush uh, that comes with it. I think the brush is awesome. The brush is so nice because I'll show you what you can do with it. If you like to do quick eyeshadow looks, this is the brush for you. I have so many of these because I buy so many of our products. I love this brush. Basically what you do with the longer fluffy side is put your color all over the lid. Like today I took one of the gold colors and just dipped it in here and put the color all over my lid. Then you take the shorter side of the uh, brush uh, and I put it in this deeper color right here and then you just, it fits perfectly, this brush. It's like a, it's like a little pinky. It fits perfectly in your crease quickest eyeshadow looks ever. And then you know you go over with the longer side and brush all over but fantastic, okay? If you wanna check that out, um, I must tell you, she's going to be, ah, I'm dropping things. She's gonna be on QVC on June 10th, Mally is, and she's got a deal I've already ordered. Basically what you can get, and I pulled my iPad out. Oh, I'm dropping everything. Okay. Basically what you can get, it's a really decent deal, I think, okay? You can get the palette I just showed you or her new I Love Color palette, just in case you already have it. And you get, you get to pick which palette and then you get along with it, you get three eyeliners, her, um, what is it, her under eye brightener and a mascara. Uh, so three, three liners, the brightener, the mascara, the palette with the brush for $49.98. Again, you get to pick which palette you want. If you want something that's a little more, you know, kind of Urban Decay Naked, or if you want color, you can pick that. $49.98, and it's available on Easy Pay, $16.66 plus tax and shipping uh, a month. And uh, the item number, it doesn't really pull up easily on the site, so I'll read you the item number. It is A237857. Or you can just wait till June 10th and check out, you know, her shows. It's gonna be the Today Special Value or whatever. Yeah, June 10th, Monday, June 10th. So yeah, check that out if you are interested in getting our palette. I think on Easy Play, it's an even better deal, you know, for a lot of people. I love Easy Pay on QVC. My husband hates it, but I love Easy Pay. All right, the next thing I wanna to talk to you about is a bunch of skincare stuff. Um, this was so funny. I was so excited about these. I was like, this is gonna be my favorites. I love these. I was using them all month. They, I got a double pack of these 80 and it was so inexpensive, but I got a double pack. They're moisturizing eye makeup remover pads. They were working so well for me. Look at how many I've used. I've used so many of these, okay? I think I was using these the end of last month as well, so. That's why I use so many. Anyway, I was in love with these. I was like, I gotta tell them how wonderful these are. These are like the best things ever. They're so convenient. You know, it's on a little pad and everything like that. Then I got one of the pads, went a little rogue, and I got some in my eye and I cried like a little baby. I was crying out of both eyes. I was in pain. I thought I would need medication. It was really, really bad, so <laughs> can't remember. These are a regret now. I'm gonna use the rest of these up. But I would say, um, yeah, unless you plan on never, ever, ever accidentally getting any in your eye, don't even bother. <laughs> It was sad. It was almost comical because I was like, so, the, the, I was crying. It was streaming from both eyes. I was a hot freaking mess. Bad, bad, bad. Now, these, these were good. Um, Avena's, Avena's, Ultra Calming Makeup Remover Wipes. I love these. Now, I usually stay away from products that are for sensitive skin types because I'm combination oily. I always feel like, oh, I need something harsher. I need something stronger. Not the case I found out this month because I started trying all of these Aveeno Ultra Calming products and I found them to be a great fit for my combination oily skin. 
these wipes were amazing. So if you've never been able to use makeup wipes because your skin is so sensitive, I am speaking to you and telling you, try this. I did a review. I will link it below. I did three reviews on some ultra calming products. The other thing I really liked was the ultra calming uh, foaming con uh, con cleanser not concealer, cleanser. And I'll link all three of my reviews because I tried the moisturizer as well. Fantastic. These are around $7 and you get 25. But again, if you have not been able to use wipes because they are too harsh for you, your skin is too sensitive, your skin has a reaction, check these out. Um, but I think this will be a great fit for people that even don't have sensitive skin like me. It, it worked out really, really well. Okay, another kind of a regret. Uh, this is Clinique's Makeup Brush Cleanser. And I picked this up on kind of a whim at Ulta and I would never get it again. Uh, the thing about it is, is that it has a sprayer. I thought that would be very, very convenient, being able to spray my brush, brushes. The bad thing is, is it's not as effective as I would like in cleansing my brushes, so I'm using it, spraying it a lot. Therefore, what I've had to go to is a system, since I've like gone through this bottle at a rapid freaking pace, this is like $16, I wanna say, something like that. It's not cheap, um, is spray a whole bunch like in a container and dip my brushes in that container. And that way I'm able to not use this up so fast. But based on how they, you know, kind of tell you to use it, um, with brush facing downward, spray with cleanser. Use fingertips to gently work cleanser through bristles and gently massage and rinse under water. Um, yeah, using it that way, you will be done with this. If you have a lot of brush, like I have, whenever I'm ready to do my brushes I got so many brushes to do that's like like I think the first time I went through my brushes I got down to here like I use that much doing you know my brushes once and then I got smarter so yeah I I wouldn't purchase this again I will use it up but you know I like to try things so uh now I know this has changed my life and this is the last thing I'm going to tell you about oh I want to tell you about my favorite this is so great I don't think I've done a nail of the day post of it but it's wet and wild mega last polish in through the grapevine and I've used this several times it's on my nails right now it is a fantastic color I get really good wear out of the mega last line so check it out it's very inexpensive at the drugstore a great line of uh, nail polishes okay this I did a very thorough review on my blog and I will link it below this is Ole Hendrickson's um, pure truth youth activating oil it's got a long name it's one ounce it's an oil I've been putting on my face every night and it's hard for me to do because well in the beginning it was because I have combination oily skin so the idea of putting oil on your face is like oh but um, this has been fantastic it is totally lightened up the darker pigmentation on my skin from old acne scars just areas of my skin that are really discolored it has changed them it has brightened them and when I say, when products like this say brightening, they don't mean they make your skin lighter. Not at all. What it does is make the skin that is like more pigmented and kind of damaged uh, look more like your regular skin. So that's what I'm finding. It is like, I noticed the first <laughs> results after, I kid you not, like a week, week and a half, I was like, oh my gosh. Because I used to have these darker patches of skin that were right here. It looked like I was always wearing bronzer. It was really, really weird, but they lightened it up and now my whole cheek is one color. So my whole cheek isn't lighter. My whole cheek is the same brown color all throughout. Amazing. I've been using this about six weeks and I think it's important to note that I have, haven't used half of it yet. And it's a one ounce um, container and it's $45. So it's very, very pricey, but I use like one pump a night for my face and neck. Um, I really stretch it out and make it work because I want to get as much out of this $45 bottle as I can. I got this from Sephora and it was one of the things I got on with the VIB 15% off that they gave us, uh, was it the month before last or something like that. Anyway guys, this is fantastic to use if you have issues with pigmentation on your skin and you want to just kind of even up your whole face and neck, that's what I'm kind of using it to do and I love it. I will definitely be purchasing the same thing again, definitely. So guys, I know that was a lot, but I had a lot to tell you about, and I hope some of it was useful for you. You know, some drugstore products that you might want to check out, um, some higher end products to look out for. Look out for that Mally. If you are a Mally fan and you want to get that palette and you think Easy Pay is a great idea, definitely check that out. Um, so yeah, guys, those are my favorites. It's a lot of stuff, but I had a lot of stuff to tell you about. <laughs> so hopefully you are having a great weekend, holiday weekend, and I will see you very soon.
Bye-bye.